Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on our channel. Today we're going to learn how we can use SharePoint image columns in Power BI because it's not that simple. It's not that you could just connect to that SharePoint list and then the image will pop up in your Power Query or uh, maybe in a table. Let's take a look how we can do that. But first, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up to the video and um, yeah, have fun watching it. So as you can see here, I have my uh, SharePoint lists and uh, have a couple of columns here. But the most important one, which we're going to see today, is um, this school picture column. This is, if I take a look at the settings, uh, edit, this is uh, an image type column. And what happens when we try to show this image in a Power BI report? Let's take a look. So first, I'm going to jump to my Power BI desktop application and especially in Power Query and I'm going to connect to um, this data source. So I'm going to say new source more and first I have to copy this URL here, this uh, SharePoint site root and I'm going to say online services SharePoint online list. I'm going to paste it in there, click OK and this is now going to connect to my data source, pop up the navigator here and ask me to choose a table or a list. So I'm going to select schools. I'm going to say OK. And since we are already in the Power Query editor, we don't need to say transform data. But what we're going to do next is um, say choose columns. And that way we can choose which columns we want to keep. And I'm going to deselect all of them. I'm going to say I want to keep the ID I want to keep the title, which in um, my SharePoint list is a school name. And uh, I'm not going to pull all the columns, so I'm going to say city, just uh, to have uh, another column here with a bit of text. And the next column will be our school picture. So there it is. I'm going to say OK. After removing the rest of the columns, we can see here, these are the three columns that um, are showing similar as on SharePoint, the ID, title and city. And then we have the school picture column, which if we expand it and select one of the rows, we see here um, a type of key value pairs. So we have here type, thumbnail, file name, school3.jpg, native file, curly brackets, and so on and so forth. We are only interested in um, a combination of two of these um, key value pairs here. So what we need, we need the server URL, which has our um, SharePoint URL, SharePoint site URL, no, SharePoint URL. And then we need the server relative URL, which has then the sites project management, which are our SharePoint site, and then the rest of the information, which um, brings us to the image. So how we can achieve that? First, I'm going to transform this column to text. And then I'm going to right click at the header and say split column. And I will say split by delimiter. So if you notice our delimiter is a comma. I mean, we have a lot of delimiters here, but comma is the one separating the key value pairs uh, from each other. So I'm going to say here, uh, select an entered limit. I'm going to say split by comma and on each occurrence of the delimiter. And then we have here also this advanced, uh, op advanced option, quote character. So this will also remove the quote characters from the um, key value pairs. I'm gonna say then okay. And this will create now a bunch of columns, as you can see. So as I said, we don't need this one, this one either. Pfft, maybe you want to have the uh, school picture name Let's, let's keep it for now. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, the native file, don't need that. The file name. Yeah, here's for example, the file name. Here's the file name with the ending. So with the file type. It's up to you which one you wanna keep. I'm going to keep this one just for to have them both. Um, we definitely need the server URL. Uh, the school pick uh, field ID, we don't need that one. We need the server relative URL definitely. And then the ID, we don't need that either. So I'm going to delete those. Yes, so now we have split them and I'm going to rename them real quick. So this is a file name. I also wanted to rename my title, which is the school name. 
uh, this is the server URL and this is the server um, relative URL so now that we have renamed all of our columns what we can do next is or what we need to do next is we need to create a combination of this tool before doing that we need to extract from this text here and from this one here the part uh, after the column so we don't need this service server URL column and we don't need this server relative URL column in the value because we have it as a column um, yeah header name so here I'm going to say again split column by the limiter and in this case I'm going to use um, the column and I'm going to say leftmost limiter so I want no, to have these two um, separated here because if I say if I say a split column by delimiter and say on each occurrence this will create three columns because after the HTTPS we also have a column and so let's let's undo that and say uh, split column again column uh, leftmost limiter okay so now we have our um, two values that we need and this one can go this one can remain and I'm going to rename it back to the server URL okay so we're going to do the same from for this column here I'm going to say uh, split column by delimiter and not by that one but oh, I can change it here column uh, leftmost delimiter again okay and this one can go this one is our server URL and I assume you can already see the big picture here these two need to go together so what we can do here is we can uh, hold down control and mark two of uh, both of them and by saying right click we can say merge columns and the separator will be none you know, because we don't need any uh, like a dash or something in between we just want to concatenate them together and this will be our image URL say OK and tada we have here our new image URL compiled or you know, put together okay so what we don't need oh no we have everything that we need that one we are going to keep as well and we can go on and transform this to um, to the format that we need but for this use case I think it's um, not that important but let's do it anyways the whole number and then I'm going to say close and apply and this will load now the data in uh, Power BI uh, mo data model okay so the, the data has loaded and we can see here on the right hand side that we have our columns and our table what we can do next is try to visualize that uh, column that image and if we grab a simple table um, and put here let's put here ID let's have here the city oh that was my mistake uh, I need to click on the table let's put here ID the city uh, school name and then the image URL you will see that this is showing as a URL as we saw it in the power query what we need to do to change that we need to select the column and then change its uh, category so now it's uncategorized what we need to do is to say that this is an image URL after doing that this will change and I grab the wrong column okay let's undo that I don't want to change the school name to an image I want to change this image URL to an image and this will still not show the images so this problem uh, remains on Power BI desktop because when you import the data it um, doesn't import on the, rec on the uh, login on SharePoint so you log in on SharePoint it doesn't import and then it stops there so you have the data locally on your um, on your uh, Power BI desktop. 
So now we are saying, okay, for each instance of this row, go to SharePoint and then grab that image. So now it does not do the login and the exchange of the credentials. So that's why the images do not show in uh, Power BI Desktop, or at least I didn't found, find a solution. But if you um, if you publish this, let's uh, remove these totals here. If you publish this to Power BI service, let's say save. And I'm going to use my YouTube workspace. Got it. So if we go now to Power BI um, uh, service, and we have here our uh, demo that uh, our Power BI uh, demo file that I just published. If we open that, it will hopefully show the images, huh? just like in SharePoint. Also the moving ones, which uh, SharePoint cannot handle. So why does it do that? Because on Power BI service, when we open it, we log in, and then everything that happens here, it communicates directly with SharePoint. So since I have access on my SharePoint site and that SharePoint list, um, th that those access permissions are passed through to Power BI service. And that's not happening in Power BI desktop. It's only happening when you connect to the data source at the beginning. So that's why in Power BI service, you can see the images and on Power BI desktop, you cannot. This is how um, you can create an image column or this is how you can display your images in Power BI coming from SharePoint. I hope you liked it. I hope it helps you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.